What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Movavi vlog. Roman here. Today, using our example, I'm going to show you the best way to upload videos to YouTube. Also, I'm going to explain you what video file parameters are best, what access settings they are, and the important things to remember when you are publishing your video. Let's get started! You just finished editing your video. Ready to upload it and get hundreds of thousands of views? Before you start, let's check if your video file is suitable for publishing. The good news is, today's YouTube isn't as picky as it used to be. It can now accept uploads in many popular video file formats, including MP4, AVI, MOV, WMV, and more. The trouble is, there are now so many video file formats that the average user is bound to encounter issues with video file uploading. To avoid being sideswiped by an unexpected invalid file type error message, Follow our Movavi vlog tips. We always upload our videos in the file format recommended by the YouTube support team. That's a container MP4, video codec H.264 and audio codec AAC. You can be sure that any video in this specific format can be uploaded and published with no problems. Also, and more importantly, videos that use these parameters will have the least possible quality loss. Zero quality loss is unfortunately not possible, because after uploading, YouTube re-encodes your video one more time to prepare it for the YouTube player. To minimize the quality loss, use the video file format recommended by YouTube. Open the project in which you created the video and export the file. In this example, we are using Movavi Video Suite as our video editing software. Hit the Save button and select the parameters recommended by YouTube. If you are confused by H.264, AMP4 and other codec and container names, check out our earlier episode on this topic. In this episode, Daria provided a detailed explanation of what the video file format, codec, container, bitrate, FPS and all the other technical elements are. I leave the link to this tutorial in the description. But there is an easier way if you publish videos on YouTube often or if you don't want to keep dealing with expert settings. Most of today's video editing apps can synchronize with your YouTube profile, so you can upload your video directly from the video editor right to YouTube without waiting for the video rendering to finish. And here we are in the export window again, but now we need the tab for uploading the video to social media. Connect your YouTube profile to the video editor. You can do this with just a few clicks. Enter your login and password and confirm. Now let's come back to the program. No need to select formats, codecs or other parameters. Just choose your desired video resolution. Movavi Video Suite uses the ready-made setting profile, which is perfect for uploading videos to YouTube. The program saves the original file on your computer at the same time as it's uploading it to YouTube. Don't forget to select a folder to save the file in. You can complete the metadata form right in the program. Add a title, description and even tags. Remember how important they are if you want to get lots of views. I highly recommend you watch our episode on how to deal with metadata. The link, as usual, is in the description. Then choose a video category and your preferred access settings. Public means your video will be a standard YouTube publication. Anyone will be able to find your video using YouTube search, watch it on your channel and share it on social media. Unlisted videos are invisible to other users and impossible to find with search but you can still watch and share it. Others can see this type of video only if you provide links to the video. Private videos are only for you and YouTube users who are chosen by you. You cannot share this video through a direct link and it's also not visible in your channel. Do not be in a hurry to use the public parameter. In the Movavi vlog, we usually do this. We click the unlisted parameter and watch our video one more time to make sure we didn't make any mistakes in the metadata or the video itself. Then we add a thumbnail and the end screens. Only then we are ready to publish. Hit the upload button and wait. Wait. Wait a little bit more. Done. And here's the link to the video. Click on OK and the browser window opens. The video has been already uploaded. Here are the title and the description we created. Now all that's left to do is add the preview image and end screens. Open the settings and upload the image to do this. 
we always create thumbnails for our tutorials ourselves. We never choose any of the ones suggested by YouTube. We've already answered these questions in an earlier episode. The link is in the description. Don't forget about end screens. Choose another tab to get this done. YouTube gives you the opportunity to add a subscribe button, a link to a website, a poll, or an image link to your earlier video. But just for 20 seconds. We also showed you what end screens are in an earlier episode. Once again, check out the link in the description box. And now the video is ready for publishing. Come back to the first tab and change the access settings to public. You can now add this video to your playlists right here and now. Hit the publish button and off you go. Whoa, whoa, let's rewind a little. All these tips are really helpful if you have a video project and the opportunity to upload videos to YouTube right from the video editor. But what if you have no project, just a video file? In this case, check the file format of your video. I recommend you convert this file to get the appropriate YouTube settings. You can do this with any video converter. Luckily, Movavi Video Suite also lets you do this. The program includes coding profiles created especially for YouTube. Fortunately, you don't have to understand video file formats. That's really convenient. When your file is ready, all you need to do is to open YouTube, sign in, hit the cam icon and click upload video. That's a standard way to publish a video on YouTube. While the video is being uploaded, add the title, description and tags. Set the thumbnail and the end screens by opening the video settings after publication. This is why it's better to select the unlisted parameter at first. Besides the three ways I described earlier, there is one more way – scheduled access settings. This parameter lets you upload the video and add the metadata, thumbnail and end screens right away, but set a specific date and time in the future to enable public access. This is a really handy option. We use it a lot here at the Movavi vlog. For example, we publish a new video every Friday, but if it's finished on Thursday, we upload it to our channel then and set the scheduled parameter to publish the video the next day. I think that's all you need to know about the optimum settings for uploading videos to YouTube. Don't forget about the metadata, the thumbnail and end screens. And be sure to check out our earlier videos. That's it for today. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe and we'll create a new video in response. See you later!